Lord of Honourable Member for Holt. I'd endorse those comments. Deputy Speaker, <laughs> last week I had the pleasure of meeting with Sarah Williams, Alice Gomez and Heather Stewart from the Centre for Multicultural Youth, which is based in Dandenong. They came to discuss a great project which is called Our Patch, a Social Cohesion Project. Now, the Centre for Multicultural Youth was established over 25 years ago and is a Victorian not-for-profit based organisation that supports young people from multicultural backgrounds to build better lives in Australia. This organisation works with young people in a range of settings including, including settlement, education, employment, housing, sport, justice and health. The centre's new program is a social cohesion program, as I said, called Our Patch. Now, this program works with young people of all backgrounds aged between 16 and 25 years. It aims to increase participation in social and community life for all and strengthen the leadership capability of young people in our region. In late 2013, the first phase of this project began. It involved a series of conversational workshops with young people of diverse background, aged, as I said, 16 to 25 years old, in the city of Casey. In Casey, workshops were held with young people from African, Pacifica, Afghan, Koori and Anglo-Australian backgrounds. Conversations focused on the highlights and challenges of living with those living in the area and explored their vision for the local community. One participant, Ariana Tugaga, described our patch in the following terms. It's about breaking the chains of cultural stereotypes. Whilst youth facilitator T. Hippiapira um, Nikura states, for me, impacting the world could be as simple as understanding that I got through to one person and that one person will now spend their life understanding and considering other cultures. The primary outcome from a series of conversations from the African community and the Afghan community, they centred around two particular issues and that was meeting places for young people in the area. The city of Casey is a, a vast area, it's dispersed and what they don't have for both of these communities, the young people from the African community and the Afghan community are special and specific meeting places that they can meet and congregate on on a regular basis. So that's something that we need to work on. And the other issue is I think that the Afghan community was certainly supportive of the, the presence of protective service officers and CCT cameras at train station. The Pacifica community, basically there was a concern about the separation between young people and older adults and that young people wanted to be felt more included and also that they wanted their schools to understand their particular culture because there was some under there was some belief that some of the schools didn't actually identify with their culture. Um, each of these conversations has produ produced outstanding feedback for, all, for the Centre for Multicultural Youth. This is about integrating our community and making the community a better place to live, and these projects should continue to be supported about and spoken about in this place. Order.